That sun is definitely turning the bite on. So it'll be interesting to see just how it all comes together this morning. We've had some pretty unstable weather the last few days. Yesterday the frog bite was pretty good. We'll see how it goes today. Blasted the heck out of that frog though. Nice healthy fish, chunking up the fall. This rawfish tech tip is brought to you by the Raw Shop. Sport the brand that keeps you educated. To view a full line of our apparel, visit rawfish.com slash the raw shop. Fishing a frog is one of the most exciting types of topwater fishing, but there's a couple things I personally like to do to ensure I get more fish in the boat. First of all, we always talk about strong and, and sharp hooks. Well, frog fishing especially, you're gonna be casting around a lot of grass, a lot of pads, and you wanna make sure those hooks are sharp. Secondly, I always bend the hooks up just slightly. I find that when you bend the hooks up just a little bit with a pair of pliers away from the body, it gives you a better hookup ratio. When you do finally get that blow up, you wanna make sure you don't set too quickly. When we see that action, we get excited and we really wanna set the hook, but it's almost like bobber fishing. You wanna make sure it goes under, count one, two, then set the hook. When I get a blow up on a frog, I like to count or pause and then set. If I do that, then I know the frog will be down its throat and then I set, and usually when you wait, those two hooks will go right in the top of the fish's mouth. When it comes to boat positioning, I like to parallel my boat with the shore or along the edge of the pads. Reason being, if you're casting perpendicular to the shore, you're gonna be bringing the frog out and it won't be in the strike zone as long. If you throw the frog along the edge of the pads, or even if you position inside the pads and make those long casts, your frog will always be in the pads, giving you a better opportunity to catch a fish. When I do set up my boat parallel to the shoreline, I make 20 or 30 foot casts first before I make those long casts. If you make the long cast first and catch a fish way out there, you're gonna spook anything between that fish and the boat. So I like to cover the areas in front of the boat first and then make those long casts. Frog fishing is a lot of fun and I hope these tips help. If you have any questions, contact me, Tim at rawfish.com. Large mouth. Oh, really good large mouth. Oh. Come here. Come here. Oh. 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 That is a chunk. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh. oh, man. He hammered the heck out of that. This is what you frog fish for, right here. Yes. Look at that chunk. That's a beauty. That's a, that guy's over four, well over four. Short though. Might be, might only be 18, 19 inches. But he's got a giant gut on him. Oh man. He was probably in six inches of water. Awesome. I'm going to put him in the well for pictures later. Right on. 